You're the third person I've seen with the GoPro. Is that what that is? Hey, I want to thank you so much for stopping by here. If you haven't been here before, my name's Danielle. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. 16 years part-time reselling, so I never ventured out to any other platforms. I think it's great when other people do, but this is all I can handle right now. In this video today, I'm going to talk about some what solds because I bought some things last video if you checked it out. Um, if you haven't checked it out, you might want to, but I bought some really awesome 80s toys and been selling those things like crazy. So we're going to talk about a little bit of that. And we're also going to look at some more footage from this Friday's yard sale. Um, we're also going to look at the things that I picked up at those yard sales. So some yard sale footage and what I actually bought at those yard sales. So if that sounds like something that you're into, please stick around because I did find some really cool things and I'd be happy to show you guys. And that way when you're out shopping the next time, you guys can look for some of these things too because some of this stuff that I found was really worth some money. Um, especially the 80s toys that I found in the last video. You'll want to check those out if you haven't. Without further ado, let's look at some of that yard sale footage. Two hundred and twenty-five. That's it. Even. How you doing? You're the third person I've seen with. Really? The GoPro. Is that what that is? Yeah. Today. Yeah. Yeah. I have a YouTube channel where I just tape what I find at yard sales. So, and when we sold the rest, we used to have six of these, and people would sit at the booth. And they would punch your song in. And it would and channel would, to the... It would play out of here, and That's it would amazing. play out of the jukebox. main jukebox. Ooh. Yeah, I recognize these. <laughs> oh, I have. Oh, I have the original <laughs> Do you? this at home. Including that game shark. Looks like there's a, let's see, 20... If he's pricing out the game, I guess. Hmm. I know some people who will buy that stuff, but I just don't know too much about it. I'm leaving a yard sale. Picked up some cool hats. You get a couple of them. Rain. Oh. 
all right you guys bought a few cool things some of it i got on film some of it i didn't um so i just want to jump right in here i got this for my son cash it's a size medium and i thought it would look really awesome on him this is probably just a few years old not not very old at all and i just thought it was really cool it's in pretty good and like nice new looking conditions got some bright 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 graphics on it there i love it cincinnati reds and underneath we've got i picked up two pendleton blankets today um and then there is another wool blanket under here it doesn't have a maker on it but the lady said that it was made in ooh, i don't remember what country she said it was made in so i'll just be listing that as like 100 percent wool or whatever and trying to come up with a really cool catchy title to make it sell so anyway three of those bought for 10 bucks um that was pretty cool i bought these at the same sale for a dollar each um just some beach towels i like to buy them whenever i see them at yard sales just for our own use but i do know that beach towel, uh, towels do sell um uh, also but i'm not going to sell those i'm going to keep those for us picked up this cool little pound puppies y'all who grew up in the 80s and remembers pound puppies i know i do i think this box was marked 1985 on what side was that maybe the underside ah sorry Let's see yeah 1985 pound puppies by tonka i did not know that tonka was the one that did uh pound puppies has the original toys r us sticker on it or sales tag 15.94 at toys r us back in 1985 and i picked it up for five bucks and let's see it has i don't believe it's ever been taken out of the box it has the original dog leash that says pound puppies on it it was taped in there i guess i just untaped it um somehow it didn't get lost along the way so i'm glad about that i looked this up this should bring anywhere from 45 to 65 bucks to be conservative um i bought these for i believe it was two dollars each both of them do have the game inside a lot of times when i find these things the games aren't there and i don't end up buying them but these games were actually there so i was happy about that I don't remember what the comps were on those. I know, I'm thinking like 20 to 25 bucks maybe. Um, all right, so I hit a video where I did walk up to the sale and you saw the Pokemon. These all were marked $7 each and this one was marked $3. The guy gave me a deal, 35 for all of them. And I know next to nothing about Pokemon, you guys. Luckily, I have a couple teenagers that do know a little bit, and they were able to look up a couple things that I had and said that I had a couple good cards. Um, I knew this was one of the good, one of the good cards. They said I could get anywhere from, and I have my kids comping this stuff out, but I could get anywhere from like 35 to 80 bucks on that card most of these cards i will tell you were marked um either 2012 or 2014 um i had to get like a magnifier out to even see that because it's like so little but yeah i'll just flip through a couple of these some of them are going to be upside down most of them are going to be upside down let's turn it yeah i don't know what i have here um I know I'm supposed to look for like the shinier or like the more decorative cards, which doesn't seem to be in the rest of the stack. Oh, we got something shiny here. What's this? I don't know. I'll have to dive into these a little more in depth. What I'm probably going to do is if I do find a few that I think are good, I'll list them individually. And then I'll maybe make two lots of these tins. And then this little, maybe I'll sell this along with one of those lots. Um, but yeah, as long as I make some money back, I'm happy. And it sounds like I'll be making my money back on the one card there. 
so we will lot the others up and put them up for sale now i did not get any footage of buying these dresses either but i ended up paying um three dollars each for these dresses and i had already bought something else at this church sale and i just thought yeah i'll go ahead and do that it was probably more i would have liked to have paid like a buck but i was at a church sale and they were trying to raise money so i was happy to do that but these dresses um mini world on that one brian on this one if you comp out what's it say life or lilo lilo um if you comp out rough you know uh ruffle girl dress vintage you're gonna see a lot of high comps and i'm not exactly sure what these are selling at right at this point but i would estimate that i'm gonna maybe get like probably 25 to 30 dollars per dress i would be happy with that if these these just kind of have like uh there were this one at least just kind of reminds me of something that i wore in 1985 when i was in school <laughs> like for picture day or something definitely right up the alley of what i would have been wearing and down here i want to show you at that uh, church sale i bought a huge um tote actually two totes of toys one whole tote was just kind of like junky stuff and we're gonna take that I shouldn't say junky stuff. It was just things that I didn't really want to resell online. So we're going to take all of those toys and we're going to sell those for probably like 50 cents a piece when we have the uh, 127 or the world's longest yard sale that comes along. And that's what I do with a lot of the things that I buy and I decide, oh, well, I probably shouldn't have decided to buy that to sell online. That is my outlet for this stuff. Um, so I have a little bit of room for mistakes and I always take them there and sell them at the yard sale. So yeah, I've got those two things lotted up. This is a lot of um, Ninja Turtle stuff and these are just like random, I don't know, like just little toys and Imaginex and DC Super Friend things and this is like a whole little bag of weapons that were in um in that toy tote now these are not old i don't believe i think these are from the past uh or like the recent past and these aren't any like name brand toy weapons or anything that i'm aware of but those are going to be sold either i don't know i might do just like that little bag of weapons or i might throw it in there together i'll have to decide so yeah, I think I did pretty good. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I did pretty well. So I hope you guys don't mind that I brought you out here in nature again to talk about what sold because I'm getting ready to go pack up four boxes in my basement. I really just don't want to spend that much time down in my workspace um, this evening just because it's so beautiful outside still. And I thought I can do this out here. So let's jump right into it. Let's talk about what sold recently for us. Okay, so in no particular order, I'm just gonna talk about the things that sold in like the past seven to 10 days. All right, so the first sold that we're gonna start with is this $45 Masters of the Universe Screech and Zor bird set. Now they would have came along with the castle or been an accessory that you could buy in addition to the castle uh, back in the 80s. So that sold for $45 and we picked that up in that lot from the previous video. So $45 on two little plastic birds from the 1980s, not bad. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna go and talk about is this rifle that sold from Star Wars and it was original. It was also found down in the box of the Masters of the Universe box that we had. And this little rifle, it was probably about three inches long sold for $21 and everything that I'm showing you right now I do not do free shipping on most like most any of my items so anything that I talk about the buyer also purchased shipping as well like they paid shipping as well next thing we're going to talk about is this 1995 musical Mr. Christmas bandstand bears now it's um 
it was brand new, never been used, sold for $100. And this was actually picked up in the storage unit pick from back in January. Anything Mr. Christmas um, usually does very well. I've never picked up a Mr. Christmas item and sold it and thought, well, that really wasn't worth it. Like everything that I've ever picked up Mr. Christmas has been worth my while. This next sold item is coming to you from the trash. Now this was a really cool brass Victorian style lamp that sold for $255. We were just lucky to have found it in the trash and you know saw the value in it before the man came and picked up the trash is all I've got to say. And the buyer paid a pretty penny to have this thing shipped I'll tell you. So the next thing we're going to talk about is this Boba Fett. This Boba Fett was in the bottom of this, this, all of this Star Wars stuff that I'm talking about was like an extreme, just surprise. Um, we had found Masters of the Universe, uh, box, my husband did, at this auction. He bought it. He was with my son. And so the Star Wars things that were down in the bottom of it were just a huge bonus. Um, we were not expecting them at all. We found this Boba Fett down in the bottom. I immediately went, to, my brain went to like, oh my gosh, is this one of the um, rocket ejecting Boba Fett? Like, you know, it's basically like a unicorn thing, but it wasn't. It was from 1979 still nonetheless, but it had a stationary rocket in it that doesn't move. It sold for $80, so we were very, very, very happy with that sale. We sold another model, and these models came from the storage pick that you've seen us do in January. So, if you haven't seen that, that's a very, we had a very good time picking all this stuff um, out of this particular estate. Um, this Ertl uh, trailer model sold for $60. All right, you guys, so we had a $15.30 on Chanel Reju Rejuvenating Cream that came out of the storage unit that we bought in January. So we're still selling stuff from that pickup. So very, very happy about that. Next up, I'm so excited to tell you that the He-Man and the original cat and all of the battle armor and things like that that went along with the original He-Man sold for $100.00. I'm sorry, $109.99. I never dreamed that that would go for that much money. I guess I kind of thought we would lot that stuff up, but the more we looked at it, the more we knew we were better off to separate these items up, and we've been making some pretty good money on them. Um, Merman from that Masters of the Universe 1981 sold for $30 on his own. And one of the bonuses that was in that box, the Star Wars, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi sold for $35. And we sold the Panther for 40 bucks. Now, it looks like we're still waiting on the payment for that. So I will probably, um, it looks like that we're eligible to cancel that order now. So I think if the guy hasn't paid by 12 o'clock tonight, that I'll probably go ahead and relist it. Um, we did sell some Teddy Ruxpin, uh, Teddy and the Grubby for $63.75. Now we had the cassette that went along with it, but we didn't have the auxiliary cables or any of that. <clears throat> um, they were special cables too, so it wasn't like I could just buy a replacement. So disclose that information. The buyer knows they're not getting the cords, that they'll have to try to get the cords on their own. I want to talk about this next one I'm going to put in the screen. These Star Wars blasters. I talked about it in the last video, but if you guys ever come across old Star Wars toys, now it's going to take some identification um, looking on several websites and you know through eBay sales and different things like that. You're going to have to do your homework, but these little tiny blasters sold for $20 each. We had 12 of them and I'll just kind of generate the um, the pictures in the screen there of the sold shots, but 12 of them in total sold for $240. I was flabbergasted at that. I was like, what? Like I did not, like I knew the Masters of the Universe stuff was good. I know Star Wars stuff's good, but a little tiny gun like that, I was just so shocked. I was surprised. So that is everything that I've been selling lately, guys. 
I hope that you guys have been having some good sales. Now, I am a part-time reseller, so I'm not one of these people who sell 20 things overnight. Um, my sales are usually a lot slower than that. I'm listing a lot more infrequently than a lot of people. The more that you list and the more often that you list, I believe the higher volume of sales you're going to have. At least to, <clears throat> from my experience, that's what happens with us. So, you know, we haven't been selling a ton right now, but what we have been selling has been quality items. So that's what you, you know, resellers like me that are part-time, you want to be focusing on quality, not necessarily quantity. And that's just my opinion. That's how I run my business. So I just, I go for the quality. So that's what we've sold. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I simply hear the sounds of beautiful birds and it is a very welcomed thing here where I live because the cicadas have calmed down for the day or the evening. It's like seven o'clock, something like that. We're winding down from the long holiday weekend and the cicadas have finally wound down too. I wanted to make this video several hours ago, but I couldn't because every time I came outside, it sounded like 50 car alarms were going off at the same time. I am not kidding. That high pitch cicada screech was just unbearable. But we were outside for a long time today and we just kind of put up with it. But I definitely couldn't do any filming with the cicadas in the background because it was just too darn noisy. So I just wanted to say that um, before I sign off and I tell you that I am so grateful that you have came to watch this video today and I thank you so much and I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please hit that thumbs up button and if you um, feel like you would want to please hit that subscribe button. I know like half, I have half subscribers and half not subscribers that watch and I would be delighted if you were a subscriber to my channel. That would be wonderful. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again and I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Bye. Are you eating a cicada, Ringo? Oh boy, don't do that. That's gross. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <gasps> Ringo, don't eat that. No. Ringo, don't do that. Oh, jeez.